Major update in the story about Sonia Massey, the black woman who was shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy in Illinois after she called 911 about a potential intruder. The Justice Department is now looking into what happened. Disturbing body camera footage released earlier this week shows what led to that fatal moment on July 6th. Oh, how do you down here? And I need to go down here. Oh, it hurts you. You called us. Okay. Please. So what'd you hear? Uh, somebody keeps outside my house. Uh, uh, please, uh, is this your car over here? Please, uh, please, uh, please. Is this your car over here? Uh-uh. Oh. Not crazy, bitch. Sonia Massey. On July 6th, the 36-year-old Illinois mother of two called law enforcement after she believed an intruder had entered her home. To me, Sonia seemed somewhat delusional, but when she was questioned about her behavior by the police, she did tell them she had just taken some medication, even asking the officers not to hurt her at the door. Oh, it hurts you. You called us. Okay. Both deputies followed Sonia into her home, and they had a cordial conversation for a while. While the deputies were in the home, Grayson spotted what seemed to be a pot of steaming hot water on the stove. This seemingly made Grayson uncomfortable as he asked Sonia to go and turn off the water, stating that there needn't be a fire during this questioning. Sonia was cooperative and walked over to the stove to turn off the flame like they asked. When doing so, she noticed that the officers started distancing themselves from her and she asked what was wrong. Grayson replies, the way from your steaming hot water. And then Sonia does something kind of unexpected. She says, away from my hot Hot steaming water? Oh, I'll rebuke you in the name of Jesus. There's a major problem with this case. Sonia was murdered in cold blood. In what world does water justify pulling out a firearm? Even if it was boiling water and potentially thrown on you, did it really deserve taking a life? So today I want to react to a few clips I found regarding today's case. First clip is coming from a news station, CBS Mornings, so we'll listen to what they have to say. When the now former sheriff's deputy, Sean Grayson, shot Massey in her Springfield home. Afterward, Grayson was fired from the county sheriff's office and charged with first degree murder. Now CBS News has learned Grayson worked at five other law enforcement agencies in the last three years. He also was charged and pleaded guilty twice with driving under the influence of alcohol in 2015 and 2016. Massey's family told CBS Mornings yesterday the sheriff's office did not initially reveal that the 36-year-old mother of two was killed by a deputy. At least five different agencies. What is the background? I think that's what we need to look into or how are these people getting hired? What's crazy to me is that even after being caught twice driving under the influence, this guy still managed to get a badge and a gun in his holster. How are we not looking into the history? Let me play what I have of the body cam footage for you guys. That way you can make your own decision of what you think really happened, as well as what you think this cop deserves. That's not your black car in the driveway? Mm -mm. Oh, well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. We didn't see anybody. Mm -mm. I, you know, we don't. I mean, we checked the whole area. There's nobody out walking around. I know y'all, please God, please God, I'm trying to get help y'all. Immediately, they're treating her like the aggressor. I don't like the way that they're speaking to her. It's very condescending in my opinion, and I just don't like the attitude right off the bat. Okay. What do you need help with? Nothing, I just, please God, please God, please, I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing, I just wanted to see if I could help me. What do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Uh, I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. We didn't see nobody. Yeah, so nobody's out here. You didn't see anybody? No, nope. Oh. We checked the whole area. Okay. What took you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes there. I'm sorry. I was trying to get I got gotcha. you. All right. Sorry. Is there anything else we can do for you? Yeah. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure. All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. All right. That's not your black car, though. The SUV? Yeah. Whose is it? Uh, you don't know? Someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go on that. Yeah. Yeah, the 20th place. Uh, David Mary 435556. Five,
got a, a name you can add to yourself. Make it your name real quick. Catch this. See who we spoke to. It's almost like foreshadowing. That's the other part people are pointing out too. She's asked for the Bible. Why did she ask for the Bible? Well, we'll see. Has there, was there any damage previous to your car? Uh, previous, yeah, it okay, was. What was the damage? A dent, I believe. Well, what about windows? Oh, that, it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your last name? Uh, Shouldn't have to think about your last name. Okay. You're not in trouble, I just need to Massey. Text. Huh? Massey. Do yeah. you have an ID? That makes things so much easier. I, I just need to get this driver's license will do, and I'll get out of your hair. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will what? get your paperwork. What paperwork? Okay. I got some paperwork. We'll just get your ID real Well, let's get your ID inspection. first, and then... One task at a time here. Okay. Here, grab your ID for me. Uh huh. Okay. Your ID. One task at a time. So let's do an ID, and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my ID is. Do you have yeah. that stack right there, maybe? One second. Just check on her. Don't need this. No, we don't need a fire while we're here. Right. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away no, from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I was rebuking you in the name of Jesus. I rebuked you in the name of Jesus. You better f*** not. I swear to God, I'll f*** you straight your f***ing face. Uh, I'm sorry, that part just stopped there. Oh, it makes my heart drop. Okay, here's part two. Oh my goodness, it doesn't show anything. Everything is censored, but... Oh, I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Huh? You better not. I swear to God, I'll shoot you in your face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the Drop the Drop the Okay, 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 really quick. Really quick, do you see her? We're gonna go back. I'm gonna play this part again. But pay attention to what she does, okay? She's at the pot, which they asked her to go turn off, okay? That's the only reason she's over there in the first place. She wasn't talking and started walking over. She then has the oven mitts in her hands. She grabs the pot, and then she goes on to say the deputies back away, stating that they're a little concerned about the hot water. Sonia then goes on to state that she'll rebuke them in the name of Jesus. As soon as he got his gun from the holster and pointed at her, she got scared. She immediately put the pot down as she then ducks down and then we cannot see her past the counter the island there i don't even want to keep just fire just fire just fire drop the pot she didn't even have it in her hands anymore she was on the floor bring the emails now we got a headshot wound to the female headshot wound to the female 1078 I was on, I was on. I'm gonna go get my kit. No, if you head shot, you get your, she's done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. His partner just offered to go get a med kit. Even though he stated that there is a headshot, he's still gonna go and try to offer medical assistance to Sonia. Not only chuckles after saying the word headshot, but then dissuades him from doing so. While we're at it, because we're already like 10 steps way too far ahead, let's just let her bleed out on her kitchen floor too. The pot of boiling water is on the counter right next to her. It might jump out and get you. Are you joking? 
I wish they were. Thank God for the body camera footage. It's probably the most horrible and heart-wrenching thing that we've ever seen in our lives. But if it were not for the body cam footage, we would not have known that this occurred. Grayson has pleaded not guilty. Update in the no, he did not. This morning, prosecutors in Springfield, Illinois, have charged former sheriff's deputy Sean Grayson with murder for shooting a mother of two in her home after she called 911 for help. Grayson's body camera was not turned on until after the shooting, but his partner's camera was on, and prosecutors say the footage does not support the finding that deputy Sean Grayson was justified in his use of deadly force. Sean Grayson was indicted on charges a first-degree murder, aggravated battery with a firearm, and official misconduct. Grayson was in custody awaiting court appearance Thursday. Sheriff Jack Campbell said Grayson has been fired. Ben Crump, who is the attorney for Massey's family, said that the charges were a step toward justice for Sonia's loved ones, especially her children, who have endured unimaginable pain and suffering since they were notified of this tragedy. So he wants to get his kit to see if he can save her, and he says, nah, she's done, it's a headshot. And that's what he threatened her with. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> is crazy. I mean, listen to the callousness. He just got done shooting somebody who was vulnerable, vulnerable adult that posed no threat to him whatsoever. Shut up, hot, hot boiling water. Rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Pulls his gun. She cowers and says, I'm sorry. Let her just what? Let her just bleed out? Is that what you were going to say? You didn't render aid. The minute you pulled your f***ing gun, she cowered. She was no threat to you whatsoever. That is powerful evidence. Funny how he's putting up the crime scene tape for his own crime. Let me know what you guys think about this case down below, and I will see you in my next one.